Namaste everyone and welcome back to our long beginners yoga practice and today we're going to start in Shavasana. Inhale. And exhale. Few more breaths. Connecting to your breath now, find the deep yogic breath. Start to reach your hands over your head, interlace the fingers. Bend your knees, bring the soles of your feet together and knees falling out. Supta Padha Konasana. Recline bound angle. Breathing in. Breathing out. Interlace the fingers, find your Kali Mudra, left thumb on top of the right. Breathe in, breathe out, reach the hands up. Inhale to relax, bring the arms down, exhale to lift. Breathing in and out. This time inhale, release. Exhale, one step ahead, curl the head and chest off the mat. Breathe in, relax. Breathe out to lift. Three more, inhale. Exhale. Two more, breathe in. And out. One more, breathing in and out. Hold it here, keep breathing. Holding it for five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Release. Use your hands to bring the knees together and hug your knees into your chest. Hold the back of your thighs, extend the legs up towards the ceiling. Inhale, we stretch the feet, point them up. Exhale, we flex. Breathing in and out. Keep flexing and pointing them. And now circle your feet clockwise and anti-clockwise. One more time. Well done. Point the toes up. Inhale. Stretch the legs. Exhale. We bend the knees into our chest. Breathe in to stretch. Breathe out to bend. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. And out. Superb. Keep your right knee hugging into your chest. Extend the left leg forward. Left heel pressing down into the mat. Extend the right leg up towards the ceiling. Reach your arms up as well. Either just stay with this one or hold your right leg, curl your upper body. Optional, left leg off the mat a couple of inches. Split the legs. Breathing in. Breathing out. Lower belly in. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath. Switch sides. Breathing in. Breathing out. Two more breaths. Inhale. 
and exhale one more and release hug your knees to your chest and sway from side to side hands on top of knees and just circle them clockwise and anti-clockwise grab hold of your big toes find your happy baby ananda balasana breathing in breathing out inhale and exhale well done extend the legs up one last time rock forwards and back transition straight into padakonasana fold or cobbler's posture with a forward fold so rock forwards and back soles of your feet together knees out so first forward fold go a little easy maybe onto your fingertips or to your forearms look forward roll the shoulders back keep breathing find the deep breath one more breath and we lift well done everyone inhale circle your hands up exhale interlace the fingers press the palms press the elbows down two more breathing in and out one more breathing in and out lift back up right hand by the side of your body left arm up and take your left hand in between your shoulder blades roll the chest up pointing the elbow taking a side bend breathing in breathing out keep your legs exactly as they are in cobbler's posture one more breath inhale to lift and exhale to switch the right elbow pointing up now one more breath and we lift cactus arms bend the elbows 90 degrees and elbows level with your shoulders start to squeeze the shoulders behind you inhale we look forward exhale we twist to the right inhale center arms active fingers widely spread exhale we twist to the left breathe in center breathe out right inhale center lower belly in exhale left one more on each side breathe in center breathe out right inhale center exhale left well done everyone come back to center release the hands behind you open the chest open the shoulders either choose to stay here or we're going to lift the hips off the mat keeping the knees wide breathe in lower belly in press the feet down hips up drop the head back if your neck allows holding here for 5 4 3 2 keep breathing and 1 chin to your chest with control set the hips down reach your hands up exhale start to go forward head in between your arms wherever you feel like you can't go further forward release your hands down hold it there otherwise keep folding forward breathing in breathing out inhale 
and exhale one more breath walk your hands and slowly lift back up use your hands to bring the knees together all right knees bent feet flat on the mat and just drop the knees side to side <coughs> Well done. Cross your right foot over your left thigh. Flex through the foot here. And now take your right arm towards the left as well for your twist. And what we are doing here, we are encouraging the foot more towards our right armpit. So keep twisting. One more breath. And slowly release. Let's switch sides. Left foot over your right thigh. Taking the left arm towards the right. And now twisting. One more breath and slowly release. Well done. Keep the knees bent. Grab hold of your right big toe with your right hand and we're going to straighten the right leg up to any amount. Keep your belly and thigh as close as possible. Roll the shoulders back, chest lifted. And don't worry about having the right leg perfectly straight. Feel free to bend the knee if you need to. Just stay lifted with your chest. That is more important. Spine long and straight. Breathe in. And out. One more breath. Well done. Slowly release the right leg down. And set the left knee down as well left foot to the inside of your right thigh and now take your left hand behind you breathe in we circle the right hand up and over lifting the hips up and finding the back bend press through your right foot down stretch long squeeze the hips push your pelvis forward breathing in breathing out Inhale and exhale. Slowly set your hips down. Forward fold. Inhale, reach the hands up. Exhale, reach the hands forward. Folding over your right leg. Bending the knee if you need to. Flex through the toes. Breathing in and out. Inhale and exhale. One more breath. And we lift back up. Well done, everyone. Now pick up your right foot and place it to the outside of your left knee. Seated spinal twist, Ardha Matsendrasana. From here, right hand behind you. Left arm reaches up. And we hook the left elbow onto this right thigh to twist towards the right side. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. And exhale, lower belly in. Keep twisting on every exhale. Well done, face forward, come back to center. All right, from here, straighten the legs forward and we're gonna repeat the sequence on the other side. Shake out your knees. Bend both knees and this time, stretch the left leg up.
two more breaths. One more. And release the left leg down. Right foot to the inside of your left thigh. Right hand behind you. Inhale, we swing the left arm up and over this time. Stretching left side of the body with a mild back bend. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath. And set the hips down. Forward fold. Breathing in. Reach the hands up. Breathe out. Go forward. And we're going to fold over the left leg. Inhale. And exhale. Breathe in. And out. Slowly lift. Pick up your left foot and place it to the outside of your right knee this time. Left hand behind you. Inhale, reach the right arm up and hook your right elbow to the outside of this left thigh. And we twist towards the left this time, looking at the left shoulder. Optional, take a bind, going one step ahead. Inserting your right hand from here underneath your left thigh. Take the left hand behind and interlace the hands. If not, then stick to option one, which we were doing before. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath. And we slowly release. Well done. Straighten your legs. Shake out your knees. From here, tabletop position, hands and knees. Come onto your all fours. Cat cow. A little different today. So bend the elbows. Inhale, we go forward. Exhale, we come up. Straighten the arms, drawing the chin to chest. Bend the elbows, go forward, inhale. Exhale, straighten the arms, round the back. Three more, breathing in and out. Two more, breathe in and out. Last one, inhale and exhale. Hold it here. Keep breathing. One more breath. And exhale, neutral spine. Okay, from here, inhale, reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, feed your right arm underneath your left armpit, not all the way down, just here so that your shoulders are square to the mat. We're going to do the same movement in a high plank position very soon, so just prepare your body. Breathe in, stretch the arm up again, open the shoulder. Breathe out, feed the arm underneath your armpit. Square your shoulder to the mat. One more, breathing in, breathing out. Release the hand down to the mat and let's switch side. Inhale, left arm up. Open the chest, exhale. Feed the arm underneath the right armpit. Breathing in. Breathing out. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Well done. Left hand down. Now tuck your toes under. Find your high plank, the push-up position. 
draw the lower belly in feet hip width apart breathing in breathe out just tap your knees down and inhale to lift again keep the body still just work with your knees exhale tap inhale lift exhale tap last one inhale lift feet hip width apart now drop both heels towards the right reach the left arm up choose to stay here or the same movement which we did in tabletop breathe in here breathe out left arm underneath your right armpit square the shoulders we are not moving the feet just work with your upper body inhale stretch the left arm up again exhale to feed one more breathing in and out left hand down high plank drop the knees down press yourself back into child's posture balasana catch your breath breathing in breathing out find the deep yogic breath we're going to repeat the sequence on the left side very soon two more breaths one more and slowly start to lift when you are ready high plank breathe in here breathe out tap the knees down inhale to lift keep looking forward keep your neck long exhale to tap inhale lift lower belly in one more exhale tap inhale lift feet hip width apart drop the heels towards the left this time right arm stretches up choose to hold it here otherwise isolate your upper body keep your legs still breathe in breathe out feed your right arm underneath your left armpit breathing in breathing out one more inhale and exhale right hand down high plank instead of child's posture go down to your forearms this time maybe interlace the hands and start to walk your feet in into your dolphin posture this is very similar to down dog the only difference is we are down to our forearms rather than the palms make sure your head is not touching the mat feel free to bend your knees as much as you need to breathing in breathing out two more breaths lower belly in send your hips up and back one more breath walk the legs back and then set your hips down with control easy cobra sphinx posture a mild back bend elbows underneath your shoulders palms are facing down open your chest roll the shoulders back breathing in breathing out inhale and exhale one more breath exhale chest down bend the knees and grab hold of your feet <coughs> or ankles whatever is accessible to you moving into dhanurasana sensitive lower back just think about lifting your upper body and forget the legs and your feet should be hip width apart if not then hook your big toes together breathe in lifting the upper body first now if your back allows lift your legs as well find your back bend keep looking forward or maybe at the tip of your nose breathing in breathing out inhale and exhale three more breaths two more one more exhale legs down first then the upper body press yourself into child's posture balasana 
find your deep yogic breath take your time inhale and exhale breathing in breathing out one more breath here and then slowly start to lift find your first downward facing dog adho mukha svanasana inverted v position equal weight distribution into hands and feet hands shoulder width apart feet hip width apart bend your knees if your heels are not touching the mat spread the fingers wide breathing in breathing out relax your head relax your neck we are going to the front of the mat to take sun salute or surya namaskar so walk your feet take baby steps come to the front bend your knees generously and take your ragdoll fold hands to your waist keep the knees bent and slowly lift inch by inch finding tadasana or mountain posture at the front of your mat feet hip width apart and parallel lift up through the knee caps draw the lower belly in fix your gaze stand tall engage your bandhas the mula bandha at the base of your spine tighten your pelvic floor and engage your uddiyana bandha two fingers below the navel simply draw the lower abdominals in and up breathing in and out hands in prayer position pranamasana take one full breath here inhale reach the arms up lift up and arch back exhale reach your arms forward and fold over bend your knees if you need to fingers and toes in one line inhale stretch the right leg back drop the right knee down and point the toes look forward hold your inhale step the left leg back high plank position now exhale drop the knees then the chest make sure your hips are not touching and then the chin ashtanga namaskar elbows are hugging into your body inhale slide the chest forward point the toes back bhujangasana lower ribs down elbows bent feet active pressing down exhale lift up and back adho mukha svanasana downward facing dog inverted v position inhale step the right foot forward drop the left knee down ashva sanchalana asana equestrian pose look forward front knee and ankle in one line exhale bring the left foot forward and fold inhale lift up and arch back urdhva hastasana exhale pranamasana left side breathe in lift up and arch back breathe out inhale left leg stretches back knee down look forward hold your inhale high plank exhale ashtanga namaskar breathe in bhujangasana breathe out adho mukha svanasana inhale left foot comes forward right knee down exhale right foot forward to fold at the front of the mat feet hip width apart inhale lift up and arch back exhale pranamasana and then find your tadasana once again breathing in breathing out 
inhale circle your hands up we are going back to down dog now exhale slow swan diving send your hips back chest forward inhale halfway lift hands to your shins flat back extends exhale step back to downward facing dog adho mukha svanasana prepare yourself for your first flow adjust your hands and feet if you need to inhale stretch your right leg up towards the ceiling choose to stay here or optional bend your right knee open your right hip reach your right knee up towards the ceiling and foot towards your hips elbows super straight straighten and square your right leg exhale step the right foot forward in between your hands and drop the back heel down lifting up into warrior 2 virabhadrasana 2 heels in one straight line go wider with your stance and find a capital t alignment with your feet so your back foot is parallel to the back edge of your mat and your front foot is facing forward bend your front knee deeply keeping the back leg straight once you are here now try not to disturb your legs rather reach your hands and release them underneath your chest your legs are still into warrior 2 that's it if you think this is enough for you stay here otherwise right hand goes to the inside of your right thigh and to press it out another option walk your left hand towards your left foot and we are trying to fold over the left leg the back leg remember the front knee is bent back leg is straight choose the options carefully breathing in breathing out two more breaths i know it's intense it's going to burn your thighs one more breath slowly come back to center hands underneath your thighs underneath your chest now straighten your front leg and turn your right toes in we are standing with feet nice and wide wide legged forward fold inhale here exhale we fold down prasarita padottanasana lead with your chest not with your neck pressing through both feet equally especially the outer arches knee straight one more breath and we lift halfway from here reach your right hand towards your left foot the back foot and now take your left hand either towards your lower back or to hold your front thigh crease why we are reaching this hand back is because we are twisting with the upper body so think about drawing your left shoulder back and twisting your chest keep breathing drawing the lower belly in inhale and exhale breathe in and breathe out well done slowly come back to center micro bend your knees have a tiny bend to come up safely and lift your body up coming into warrior 2 alignment once again so turn your right toes once again towards the front of your mat and draw the back foot in so narrow this in just a couple of inches now left hand towards your waist keep your front leg straight now we are moving into trikonasana inhale reach your right arm forward 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 send your hips back and then slide your right hand down your right leg keep opening your chest up towards the ceiling and then reach your left arm up trikonasana breathing in breathing out working with the shoulders here inhale stretch the left arm up and over circling the left arm now exhale circle the hand down 
Inhale to stretch it up. Every time you stretch the arm up, draw the shoulder even more. Bre breathing in and out. One more. Inhale and exhale. Hold it there. Look down to help you balance. Bend your front knee once again and widen your feet now. Lifting up for high lunge, Ashtachandrasana. Curl your back toes under. Your feet should be hip width apart. We are coming to the front of the mat for our balances. Tree posture, Vraksasana. So hands in prayer position. When you are ready, take your left knee with you and come to the front. Choose the options for your tree posture. Open the left knee out. Option one, you can rest your left toes down. Option two, left foot resting on your right shin. And option three, higher up in towards your pelvis, but never on your right knee. Hands in prayer position. Keep the standing knee soft rather than hyperextending it. Fix your gaze to one thing which is not moving. Keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. Breathing in, breathing out. One more breath. Straight away standing pigeon. So cross your left foot over your right thigh, making this figure four shape. And now start to bend your standing knee, which is your right knee, sending the hips back, chest down. Breathing in, breathing out. An excellent posture for your hips, your hamstrings, your lower back. Breathing in and out. One more breath. We slowly lift up. Now just for transition, kick your left leg back into your warrior three, Virabhadrasana three. Stretch the left leg and just forget about the upper body if it is getting too hard for you. Otherwise, upper body parallel to the floor. Veera Bhadrasana 3. With control, lower the left leg down. Step it down as if you are stepping on clouds. Frame the front foot. Runner's lunge. Exhale. We step the right leg back as well into our push-up position. High plank. Breathe in. Take your flow, breathe out, drop the knees, then the chest, then the chin. Inhale, slide the chest forward, point the toes back, Bhujangasana. Exhale, we lift up and back, Adho Mukashvanasana. Downward facing dog, five deep breaths. Breathing in, breathing out. Feel free to find your child's posture if you want to. Inhale. <clears throat> and exhale three more breaths two more one more we all meet in down dog and when you are ready inhale stretch your left leg up optional bend your left knee Open your left hip. Straighten and square your left leg. Exhale. Step the left foot forward in between your hands. Drop the back heel down. Heels in one straight line. Lifting up for warrior two, Veera Bhadrasana two. Going wider with the stance and pressing through the outer arch of your back foot. Drop the hands in front of you. Maintaining your warrior two legs. Optional, left hand towards your inner thigh. Right hand going back towards the right foot. And we fold over the right leg. Breathing in. Breathing out. Keep a deep bend into your front knee. 
Inhale. And exhale. One more breath. Well done. Slowly hands down underneath your chest. Straighten the front leg, which is your left leg. And turn the left toes in. Prasadita fold once again. This time, Prasadita B. Grab hold of your big toes. Bend the elbows out. Breathe in. And breathe out. We fold down. Leg straight, chest going down. Doesn't matter how far you can go. Just think about sending your hips up and chest down. Relax your neck. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more breath. And slowly lift, halfway only. Now reach your left hand towards your right foot. Right hand goes towards your lower back or maybe towards the front thigh crease. Leg straight and we twist. Lower belly in. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath. And we slowly look down. Micro bend your knees and come up safely. Point your left toes towards the front of your mat once again and narrow your back foot in a bit. That's it. Right hand to your waist. Inhale, reach your left arm forward by sending your hips back. And then release your left hand down your left leg. Reach the right arm up. Breathing in. And let's start to circle it. Inhale, reach it forward. Exhale down. Breathing in. Draw the shoulder even more back. Exhale down. One more. And out. Press through your back foot. Hold it here. Leg straight. One more breath. Look down to help you balance. Widen your feet now. Bend your front knee. Tuck the back toes under. When you are ready, lift up for your high lunge, Ashta Chandrasana. Bending the front knee, back leg straight. Coming to the balance at the front of the mat, hands in prayer position. Take your right knee with you, whichever way possible. Breathe in. And now find your tree posture, choosing the options one, two or three. Maybe reach your hands up if you want to. Remember, this is just an option. One more breath. And now standing pigeon, hands in prayer, crossing the right foot on your left thigh, flexing through the toes, bending the left knee, sending the hips back, chest down and we breathe. One more breath. We slowly lift and kick the right leg back just for transition. Warrior 3, Veerabhadrasana 3. Slowly start to lower your right leg down and step it down with control. Runner's lunge, frame your front foot. 
exhale step the left leg back high plank knee chest chin inhale bhujangasana exhale adho mukha svanasana your last downward facing dog paddle your feet stretch out long and then set your knees down find your child's posture balasana catch your breath When you are ready, slowly start to lift. We'll finish the class with one back bend, Ustrasana. So from this position, <coughs> lift up onto your knees. <coughs> Excuse me. And now maintain this alignment. One line from your hips to your knees. Keep squeezing your knees and your thighs in towards each other, and then reach your hands towards your hips, fingertips pointing down. Inhale. think about lifting your head up and squeezing the elbows behind you try not to shift your hips back if this is enough stay here otherwise option 2 is that you bring your hands in prayer position and option 3 sensitive lower back please stick to option 1 and 2 option 3 that we start to reach our heels with our hands without taking the hips back keep pushing your hips forward and now if your head neck allows drop the head back 3 to 5 deep breaths one more breath to come out safely tuck your chin into your chest first one hand to the chest then the other set the hips down find your child's posture balasana once again reach your hands back this time grab hold of your heels lift your hips up and come on to the top of your head finding the rabbit posture giving your spine a counter stretch set the hips down once again and now one last posture just to release your back here table top position hands and knees and now we're going to take thread the needle inhale stretch the right arm up exhale feed your right arm underneath your left armpit and now drop your right ear right shoulder to the mat and breathe here three to five deep breaths optional left hand goes towards your lower back and squeeze your chest to spin it up start to slow down now calm down slowly press into your left hand lift back up and switch sides inhale stretch the left arm up Exhale, left arm underneath your right armpit. Drop the shoulder down. Right hand towards your lower back, or holding your front thigh.
press into your right hand lift back up take your hands forward ahead of your shoulders lower yourself down and then roll over to your spine taking one supine twist here bend the knees cross your left foot over your right thigh and now drop your right knee out until your left foot touches the floor keep your chest open shoulders down slowly come back to center and let's switch sides coming back to center extend the legs forward Take a lot of space and find your shavasana, your final posture. Have a well-deserved rest and allow your body to completely melt into the mat. Find your natural fluid breath and stay there. Thank you so much for watching and doing this practice with me. I hope you enjoy it and we'll see you in the next video very soon. Till then bye bye and take care. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already. Press the like button and share the video. Thank you and namaste.